Welcome back, Pipers. Hobbiton Piper Kevin here coming to you from the heartland of America in Missouri. Let's relax and smoke a bowl together today. This is the Smoke With Me series, and I know that many of you really enjoy this based on your feedback. And it sounded like a good time to me today too, so let's share a bowl. I think I'm going to open A new tin of capstan blue. So let's do that. Grab your pipe, whatever you want to smoke with me today. And we will just relax and try to let the stresses and cares and worries of the world just float away with the smoke. <laughs> it is actually a really beautiful summer morning here and I thought this would be a good time to come out here and have a smoke mm -mm -mm. smells so good right after cracking that tin in the review I did of capstan blue I showed you these flakes you can fan them out like a deck of cards this is, uh, I believe, from February 2020, so this will have a couple years' age on it. This is one of my all-time favorites. And I have my ball jar, and you wouldn't have to move this into a jar already, but I'm probably going to just for convenience sake. I'm going to have it, go ahead and have it done. And these flakes still feel really nice and moist. I may need to let one of these dry a little bit, but we'll see what happens. I'm not going to stress over it. I hope to never be without this blend. We'll talk about that more in a minute. I had a request from a viewer to please smoke my Fallon Allenland Aeron pipe the next time I did a smoke with me. So here she is. Very easy to rub out. I basically just take a flake normally, kind of roll it up into a tight marble, and then it'll just be all fluffy in your palm. And then I just put that on my mat and kind of break it up, fluff it up a little bit. There's lots of different ways you could do it. Some people fold and stuff, some people cube it up. You just have to play around with it, see what you like best, the kind of results you get out of it, based on how you prepare it. Maybe we'll do a video on that in more detail in the future. I would normally let this dry a little longer, but I'm going to go ahead and load up some of my smaller pieces here in the bottom of the bowl. Pretty much just gravity filling that first part. And then I'll put some of my larger pieces here in the middle. And lightly press those down. And I'll top it off with some of the smaller flakes. And I'm going to load this to where it's not overhanging my rim because. You won't char your rim as much if the leaf doesn't expand and overhang that rim as, as you're getting it lit. So I'm going to keep it down below that rim. Just my preference of how I like to do it. 
and that should be good. And I do have a little extra here, and I don't like anything to go to waste, so <laughs> I'll go ahead and put the little remainder back in this little jar. like that. When you start studying all the variables and intricacies of pipe smoking, it can be very overwhelming. And it's a lifelong journey studying all of that and improving on your techniques and the things that you like to do. Um, but in the beginning, try to simplify. It doesn't have to be overly complicated to get started. And you'll learn as you go. So don't stress about it. Okay. Let's get this lit. Do you ever judge a blend too quickly, too soon? Let's talk about that for a minute. Because I think we're all guilty of it. <laughs> now, there will be blends where from the very first time you puff on that blend, it's going to be a favorite of yours till the end of time. And then there are blends where you don't like it from the beginning and you're never going to like it. But those are outliers and that's not what we're really talking about today. Those are exceptions. That's not the norm. It's much more common for a couple of specific scenarios to happen when you first try a new blend. The first scenario is you finally get your hands on that really rare blend or that limited release or some blend that you've had your eyes on for a long time on your wish list. And within like three puffs of trying that, you're like, oh my gosh, this is the greatest thing ever. I've got to order like five more tins of this. This is phenomenal. I can't believe I've never had this before. And everything about it is just exciting and seems perfect. And you're just so glad that you finally got to try this. Or you're so glad that this one met all the expectations and was worth the price. And then you smoke another bowl. And then another one. And you begin to realize, well, maybe it's not quite as good as I thought it was. Maybe I got a little too excited. Maybe now I ordered too much of this. <laughs> and then there's the flip side of the coin. Where someone like Hobbiton Piper tells you, you should try Capstan Blue. And so you buy a tin. You're expecting amazing things. And then you load it up and you're like, hmm, it's grassy, kind of earthy. It's a Virginia. It's all right. It's, it's just okay. It's kind of meh. And you make that determination within the first bowl. <laughs> And 
But then you smoke another one. I mean, you paid a lot for it. You might as well finish the tin, right? So you smoke a bowl, smoke another bowl. I think I might kind of like this. Hmm. I think I'm starting to enjoy this more. You smoke another bowl. Then you order another tin. And then you start to pick out more nuances. Start to get to know the blend. So I would encourage you to not judge any blend too soon. You need to spend time getting to know a blend if you really want to judge it. Now, some blends are just not going to agree with you from the beginning. Some leaf types are not going to work with your mouth chemistry, and they're just going to bite you, or they're going to cause you throat irritation, or, you know, they're going to be too spicy or something. And it doesn't matter how many times you smoke that, that may not change. So that's different. Those should be outliers, hopefully. You should be able to kind of hone in on what just doesn't agree with you at all pretty quickly. And for some blends, they're just going to taste bad to you from the beginning. There's not gonna be anything you can do to, to fix that. But many blends, the majority of blends, I would say, if you really want to give them a fair shake, <laughs> you need to spend some time with them. I'll give you an example of my experience with Capstan Blue. I originally purchased a tin way back when I first started pipe smoking. Because of Tolkien, it was his blend. This is the closest representation we have of what Tolkien smoked. So I was like, well, I got to smoke that. So I bought a tin. And I thought it was good. I thought it was good. But I, when I first smoked Capstan Blue, I was like, eh, kind of earthy, grassy. Um, you know, some natural sweetness there. But, you know, wasn't just knocking my socks off. But I kept smoking it. And wow, over the years, Capstan Blue has just become an all-time favorite. I mean, way up there. Probably top one or two, if I really had to choose one. And you know my love for Oric Golden Slice. There, there's some others that I don't talk about as much because they're so rare, but... It's certainly top five for me. It's my blend, as far as I'm concerned. Like, that's that's one of my blends. Like, that, someone asked me, what are your blends? Capstan Blue is going to be on that list. And it has nothing to do with Tolkien now. Originally, that's what introduced me to it. But I didn't continue buying tins just because he liked it. <laughs> I buy tins of this stuff because I really connected with it. And I really was able to start picking out serious nuances from it. And I think it's a really high quality production for today's produced blends. So, that could never have happened if I hadn't spent significant time with it. So take the time for blends that are interesting to you. And for blends that just blow you away upon the first smoke, give those some time too and make sure. There's a red headed woodpecker he just flew away. Actually, that was a red bellied woodpecker, excuse me. The red headed woodpecker has a big solid maroon head, and the red bellied woodpecker has a red stripe on the back of his head. That's what that one is.
I'm really thankful to be able to share my thoughts with you today and get out here for a relaxing smoke. I uh, was real realizing something over the past couple weeks that this group we have here is really special because I know that most all of you are here because you enjoy pipe smoking or you enjoy learning about pipe smoking or perhaps interested in pipe smoking or just because you enjoy hanging out with us and relaxing and interacting with us. We have a tremendously interactive group here. And it's always been important to me that you never feel like you're alone because loneliness is a, is a sad thing. And I don't want you to ever feel lonely. To my knowledge, I have responded to every legitimate primary comment that's ever been posted on any video, old or new. And that's thousands and thousands. <laughs> and I may not be able to keep up with that forever, but I've sure made an effort to to this point, and that's because I want you to know that I'm that I'm reading your comments, that I so appreciate your feedback, and you're not alone, and I don't ever want you to feel alone ever. Um, don't if you have to this point just been watching and never commented, don't hesitate to comment if you want to. Um, I'm happy to read them and I'm happy to respond to you. So. Um, it may not be super long every time, but I'm going to respond and I'm going to uh, let you know that I'm listening and that I care about your thoughts and appreciate you being here. And and uh, I'll do that as long as I can support it. <laughs> and sometimes I have to sit down and say, okay, I'm going to go answer comments now and spend half an hour doing it. <laughs> but I'm going to do it as long as I can. Okay, well, I'm going to enjoy the rest of this bowl in silence. Watch my birds. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. I hope you're having a great summer if you're watching this as it was just released. If you want to smoke longer, there's an entire Smoke With Me playlist. You can enjoy that. Thank you so much to my Super Thanks supporters. You can read more about that in the description below. Until we talk again, go enjoy some good food good drink and a good pipe.